How do you tell the story of High Sierra Fly-In another time? It's hard to put into words because everything is so familiar and yet all brand new. It's bigger, better, more airplanes this year, more people, more fun. Oh man, it's uh, aviation celebration like no other. Here we are here, Dead Cow Lake Bed. It's not just a fly-in, it's a family, an intentional community that forms once a year way out in the desert, facing down terrain, distance, elements, and mechanical problems. Somebody help me fall. I don't feel like... Defying gravity, nature, comfort, and convenience to live bolder than all others, way out at Dead Cow. To get back home. Sophie Hoyt defied a car that broke down on the way from Portland. She rented another and got there just in time. I've seen so many videos about it and stuff, I kind of thought I had an idea of what to expect, but it's just so different being here and actually like feeling it and experiencing it. It's really cool. Stoll Drag is the big event, and this year it's an incredible competition yet again. Three, two, one, All right, everything is on the line. This is it. This is as good as it gets. Toby Ashley has been working hard the last few years, but always coming up just short of the top spot. I think uh, Toby held it in the, uh, the power cycle about two seconds longer than Steve. Steve's on the ground sooner. So that means Toby might have a little bit of excess speed. He has to dissipate with his brakes. Oh my gosh, that turn is ridiculously evenly matched. Here we go. Let's listen to their engines. Toby's known for his aggressive slips and his OD green airplane named Sarge. All right, Steve, once again in the slip. Toby Ashley bringing it in. Here we go. This is it. Who's going to stop first? It's a clean race. Here we go. I can't believe it. It's a heartbreaker or is it a backbreaker? It's Toby Ashley. Ladies and gentlemen, your world champion, Stoll Greg, High Sierra Fly in 2019. Oh my gosh. Wow. But this is Toby's year, earning the Stoll Drag Champion title in his highly customized carbon cup. It's great to see someone's hard work pay off and get celebrated at the fire. This is Friday night, a day sooner than the finals had been planned. The winds on Saturday were forecast to not be any fun at all. And that outlook verified. Not a whole lot of flying going on Saturday, so we mostly just hung out. I walked over to see one of two Antonov AN2s on the playa. Josh Watson and his boy Colton are happy to talk about it. I've been in aviation for a long time, and, and it's, it's awesome to be able to take something like this out to places you wouldn't expect to see them. Anytime we can get in it and fly it, we try to do that. Yeah, it's just always such a really cool experience. I've seen a lot of cool airplanes out here. And two A and twos in one spot, I never thought I'd see that. But you come to places like these, and that's where you see cool stuff like that. Parked just one spot down, a Pilatus PC-24. People braving the wind for a selfie with this turban terror of the tundra. But being together is what this is all about. Folks gather from all over the world to fly, play, and visit with one another in spite of the weather. So it's Sunday morning of High Sierra, everyone's about to get up. <laughs> I 
We'll get to that in just a second, but it's beautiful out here. The sun's not even up above the ridge. People are uh, warming themselves by the fire. A couple of early birds are, are getting up to leave before the mass departure, but everyone else is about to wake up. <laughs> this is the High Sierra Fly-In Skywagon wake-up call service. Flight of two. It's time to get up anyway. Hundreds of airplanes, thousands of people, and it's all put together by Kevin Quinn and his wife Jessica. But all the work and risk is worth the reward. Sunday morning, people are leaving, and I'm just I'm overwhelmed with joy, enthusiasm, excitement for the future. I'm humbled. One by one, folks file out until it's time for the Antonovs to leave. It takes five minutes for the wake turbulence to clear behind them, so they wait until everyone else has had a chance. These big rare birds, both departing for home and leaving it. It's the people, it's just that you, like, you're walking down the road and you run into one person that you've met somewhere else, like Florida or, you know, Wisconsin, and then you run into somebody from Alaska. Like, it's, it's really cool that it's like the, the community is also. the Dead Cow Lake bed near Flanagan, Nevada. Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Yeah.